Carla is an award-winning author, a biologist, neurophysiologist, and educator. And today we have her with us to teach us about how to use some of these techniques to optimize our brain function, which as people living with brain injuries, we really could use. When the waves came and when the storm raged, found myself falling into the ground. When the wind blew, that's when it fell through, and I don't know how to turn it around. I know there's more to me than the record you see. There's more to be. I'm still on the journey. Well, just the word itself, vestibule, it's the entryway into the brain. And um, in us, as adults, and, and actually in children that are after birth, uh, it has to do with balance. It has to do with developing our balance system. But it is so important that it develops within the first month after conception the semicircular canals of the inner ear develop, and they're at that time picking up sound and responding by having the embryo move in response to sound at that time. And then once the cochlea takes over the, the position of sound, which is about four months after birth, or after conception, the semicircular canals are for balance. They're also, they're connected to the eyes, they're connected to an area of the brain called the cerebellum, which is probably the most important part of the brain. Yeah, it has to do with movement. And it also regulates all the other functions of the brain. And it's also connected to, connected directly or indirectly to every muscle in the body, but especially our center of gravity, which is right below our navel. Mm -hmm. And so it helps with that balance. Mm -hmm. And we know that people that have learning difficulties or that have a brain injuries or whatever, that's one of the areas that is, is either underdeveloped or compromised mm -hmm. because of the brain injury. Yeah. And so people have trouble with their balance. And so the vestibular system is extremely important. It activates what we know as reticular activating system. It's a reticulum of nerves that go up and wake up the brain and say, wake up. Information's coming. Information about our world, information about the proprioception of our world, where we are in space. So the vestibular system, the eyes, the inner ears, and the, you said the center of gravity. The core uh, muscles, uh-huh or some people call it proprioception, mm -hmm. the third leg of that, mm -hmm. activate the reticular activating system, which then wake up the brain. Mm -hmm. So the vestibular comes first, really. Yes. And if that's out of place, then the brain has a really hard time waking up, it sounds like. Yes. That makes sense. Well, and <clears throat> uh, taking in information. And it's also connected, as you said, with the eyes. So. Anything the uh, semicircular canals are doing, the eyes are also doing in order to stay awake and take in information. Mm. When we stare, it means that we're not taking in any information. We just stopped. <laughs> but, yeah, it's very important system. Yeah, good. That makes sense. Okay. For rehabilitation of all kinds. Yes. Yeah. I'm still on. Now, if you have any comments or if you've used Brain Gym for your brain injury healing or any questions, please put them in the comment area below. We'd love to hear from you and how you're using this to help you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>